Hi, I'm Manu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on create a step function state machine, start a new execution, update the state machine, and review step function execution. Estimated cost for doing this hands-on? No charge, as step function is free tier eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level? Beginner with general understanding of AWS step function concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a user with sufficient permissions, check out our video on create admin user. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign into the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. Sign into the AWS Management Console and open the Step Functions Console. Click Create State Machine. On the Define State Machine page, choose Start with a Template, and then choose Hello World. Under Type, choose Standard. Then review the State Machine definition and the visual workflow. You cannot change the State Machine type, Standard or Express, once it is created. Step Functions fills in the name of the state machine automatically. It also populates for code pane with the Amazon State's language description of the state machine. The following JSON text define two past states. The first is named Hello, and the second is named World. Use the graph in the Visual Workflow pane to check that your Amazon State's language code describes your state machine correctly. If you don't see the graph, choose Refresh in the Visual Workflow pane. Choose Next. Create or enter an IAM role. To create an IAM role for step functions, select Create an IAM role for me. If you have previously created an IAM role with the correct permissions for your state machine, select Choose an existing IAM role. Select a role from the list or provide an ARN for that role. If you delete the IAM role that Step Functions creates, Step Functions can't recreate it later. Similarly, if you modify the role, for example, by removing Step Functions from the principles in the IAM policy, Step Functions can't restore its original settings later. Now choose Create State Machine. Start a new execution. After you create your state machine, you can start an execution. On the Hello World page, choose Start Execution. Optionally, to help identify your execution, you can specify an ID for it in the Enter an Execution name box. If you don't enter an ID, Step Functions generates a unique ID automatically. Step Functions allows you to create a state machine execution, and activity names that contain non-ASCII characters. These non-ASCII names don't work with Amazon CloudWatch. To ensure that you can track CloudWatch metrics, choose a name that uses only ASCII characters. On the New Execution page, choose Start Execution. A new execution of your state machine starts, and a new page showing your running execution is displayed. In the Execution Details section, view the execution status and the started and closed timestamps. 
To view the results of your execution, choose the Output tab. Update a state machine. You can update your state machine for future executions. State machine updates and step functions are eventually consistent. After a few seconds, all newly started executions will use the updated definition and roll ARN. Executions started immediately after a updating a state machine can use the previous state machine definition and roll ARN. Executions that were already running will run to completion with the definition and roll ARN that they were started with. On the Hello World page, choose Edit State Machine. In the Code pane on the Edit page, edit the Amazon State's language description of the state machine. Update the second result to read world has been updated. Optionally, select a new AWS Identity and Access Management IAM role from the IAM role for executions list. You can also choose create a new role to create an IAM role. Choose Save, and then choose Start Execution. On the New Execution page, choose Start Execution. To view the results of your execution, select the Hello World state in the Visual Workflow and expand the output section under Step Details. The output text matches your newly updated state machine. Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel, AWS by Doing, and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing, and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.